April's log, March 28th, 1922. War continues with the French. To their credit, they have already lasted longer than the British. The success cannot entirely be attributed to them, though. I've been refitting my ships to make them even deadlier. This means fewer encounters with my ships and theirs, as mine simply weren't out at sea. For the moment, I'm perfectly happy letting the Italians and the Austro-Hungarians run amok in the Mediterranean. They're busy hunting down French merchant shipping and thereby crippling the French economy. Once again, I have also sent out a wave of operatives to influence the French general opinion. Their mission is to rile up as many people as possible as the French population is starving in the streets because of the ongoing war. Historically, all it takes is neglect of the general population, some barricades and some flag waving, and the French tear themselves apart. All they need is a little push. Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It's the Big Guns Campaign, Episode 7. We have a naval funding of 1.4 billion and we're still getting 23 million a month. That is, while we're repairing a whole bunch of ships and building a few new battleships. We're also refitting some new ships and um, there is a bunch more to be refit. Once those ships are refit, they're going to be more dangerous because they got the Mark II 15.9 inch guns. As for research, we're currently working on new big guns. Oh, actually, uh, this is fantastic, because in two months I can put the Mark 16 or the Mark uh, 2 16 inch guns on my ships. That's perfect. I'm going to wait for that. And turret mechanisms. Advanced electrohydraulic turrets for even faster traverse. Excellent. It's also going to be allowing me faster reload. So definitely investing in turret mechanisms some more. And as for hull strengthening, we're going to be getting... Oh, oh yes. I'm going to have to wait three months. Because we're going to be getting the modern battleship hull in three months. Okay. Let's see what the three months in between will bring. What they do bring is an attack on a convoy. That is, we are the attacker. Because there is one heavy cruiser, the Hansa. The heavy cruiser Theonville and Mulhouse are out there defending four transports. So let's make sure the French understand that the channel is no longer controlled by the British. The channel is controlled by the Germans. After a bit of looking for the enemy, the Hansa has made contact. The Hansa is armed with her 11.9 inch triple barrels and single barrels and a couple of 5.9 inch casemates. These casemates are going to be fantastic for dealing with the transports. Now, the escorts are speed bumps. Uh, they need to get dealt with, yes. It's just not the primary target, because the primary target is the convoy. And if you delete the convoy ships, you're going to get quite a lot of victory points. So my plan is to just essentially cripple this transport, or sorry, cripple this uh, cruiser, so that she's not that much of a threat. And then proceed to sail past it onto the rest of the transports. It looks like the Hansa is already quite successful at doing that. Here's the expected torpedo attack. Oh, this is problematic. Yeah, that was a dud. Whew, don't do that again. Flooding on the Molos. Or, not sure how the French would pronounce that, Molus. Or it, was it a captured British ship that they decided to keep the name of? I don't know. At any rate, the light cruiser is flooding pretty badly, so we can switch our attention over to the heavy cruiser. Start to deal some damage to that. Set some fires. In the meanwhile, the French are fighting back as much as they can, but they really don't have a lot of chance to pen me. This guy should be pretty slow now. 16 knots. 16 knots is fine. Can I pen this? Yes. Armor piercing, please. Just make sure you hit the target. And prepare to start turning to avoid any torpedoes. Go on. 100% chance to hit. That's what I like to see. Now it's just a pen. Just pen. Oh, fuck. I didn't see that in time. Hold back emergency. Okay, we're fine. Turn. 
Thionville also flooding. Plan is working so far. Hansa is still capable of doing a very nice 24 knots. Now, I haven't actually tested what happens if you engage the enemy fleet, like the escorts, the Thionville and the Mulus, and you destroy both. What happens to the transports? Because I have not killed those. Generally, what happened in the past is that they just leave. They just disengage. And they get to escape somehow. Makes no sense. But I've also seen that if you kill the transports, you get a massive, fuck's sake, amount of victory points. So that's what I'm going for. Oh, plot armor, thank you. That's what I'm going for. Making sure I get those victory points from sinking the transports. The Unveil is getting on my nerves a bit here. All this talking, I'm not really paying attention to the battle log. Malus is not launching, that's good. The Unveil doing what, 15? 10. Or even slower than expected. Just slugging her down with high explosive because under this angle, I don't trust my armor piercing to deal much damage. It's a lot of four belt pens that I'm getting. Where are your transports at, though? I believe I came from over there. So I'm hoping to just bypass them. Come on, switch fire. Tell this heavy cruiser, or sorry, tell this light cruiser what's what. Partial? Really? Oh, these are those French heavy... Heavy light cruisers. In the sense that they got a lot of armor. Their bulkheads, however, are somewhat lacking. Stop torpedoing my ship. Thank you very kindly. Can we see it yet? Where's the torp? There. Okay, we're fine. Go on. Flood it. Alright, now i got to be a bit careful not to eliminate the Theonville entirely before we see the transports. Problem is, I'm going to have to turn my guns off. Otherwise, I might actually sink this thing. The problem of your ships being too good, <laughs> essentially. Luxury problems. Three hundred damage. Ships burning. Ships burning some more. What kind of shells did I give you? Max HE high capacity. Huh. So your fire starters. Go on. That's more like it. Flooding. Where are your transports? Where are your projectees? Show me the ones that I'm actually trying to sink. Me AP. Ten chance is reasonable. Partial. Flooding. Uh, she's gonna flood out. All right. Well, for science, I'll be able to see what it's going to do with the rest of the fleet. Did the transports get killed or not? Does the game give me the transports kills for free? Thirteen hundred victory points. Not bad for one cruiser. Come on, game. Give me, the crew, give me the transport kills. You didn't? Oh, come on. So I'm fine eliminating two French ships, but I didn't actually get the kill. It's like they just escaped. Even though my heavy cruiser was faster? That's bullshit. That needs to get fixed. And here they are. The Mark II 16-inch guns. Very, very nice. In the meanwhile, I'm also refitting the ships that I have. Meaning that my battleships are uh, mostly undergoing refit, and if they have been refit, they're already back at sea. Ready to engage the enemy with their new Mark II 15.9-inch guns. And we're about to see if those new guns are going to be successful. Because we got the Vettin over here, the Bremse and the, D, uh, the V8, against the Jules Michelet, Enfernet and Carabinier. Let's see what these new shells and what these new guns can do. And here we are. Contact with the French heavy cruiser. It's, the contact was made by the V8 at point-blank range. Three kilometers out is when we detected it. Because of the weather and the sea state, we have quite a lot of debuffs when it comes to accuracy. This, of course, works both ways. And even though we have this bad weather, 
Betten is really not that concerned. Because she still has a 65, 66% chance to hit the target. Now, hopefully, with her new and improved uh, standard AP shells, so no really super tier AP shells, she's not going to bounce off of the targets as much. I'm going to need the smaller ships to deal with this guy here, because I really don't want to get this battleship torpedoed. These are the new Mark II 15.9-inch guns, reloading in about 65 seconds. Churning rate should still be improved. Rotation is 3.9 degrees per second. Um, did I improve that already? Yeah, electrical too. Uh-oh. There's the torpedoes. Let's see. Can we pen? Nope. Ricochet. Great. Oh, dear. It's a lot of torpedoes. Where's the cruiser at? Cruiser's fine. Ah, turn, damn it! Ugh. DDs under my command are not necessarily going to be very happy about this. Switch fire. Select a cheat. You with your 7.9s. Can you do anything useful against this cruiser, you think? Oh, whatever. Start a fire. Because of this terrible... Fuck, there's a torpedo on the way. Because of this terrible sea state, dud, I cannot really get too far away from the target. My target profile is bigger than theirs, meaning they're going to be able to see me. I might not be able to see them. Please hit. Thank you. Yeah, the Jules Michelet is taking some fire. Brems uh, trying to deal damage with her 3.9ers from the stern. Just not that many of them. Oh, sorry, the bow guns are also doing work. Good. Very good. Just that the ship is not really capable of taking on a heavy cruiser all by itself. Although it is capable, apparently, of dealing damage to its guns. Because they put some very light armor on the guns. Okay, in that case. Are you a fire starter or no? Uh, no, you're not a fire starter. Okay. In case you're unaware without what I mean with fire starter, fuck more torpedoes. Uh, a fire starter is a ship that gives the or that has all the bonuses to starting as many fires as possible. So that means not the capped ballistic HE shells, but high capacity HE shells or incendiary, so that they start as many fires as possible. Please tell me that's going to be a dud. If not, I'm going to be fucked. Even reversing thrust is not going to be... Ooh, enough. It was. Come on. Missed. Still not that big of a fan of these ships. With their single inch, or single 15.9s. They do okay if you stack enough on top of them. If you bring five, six, seven of these, yes, they're going to be useful. One on one? It's a bit eh. Wait, you blocked an HE shell. What sort of a tanker are you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. So you got a main armor belt of essentially 25 inch. Yeah, no, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. Okay. So you are extremely heavily armored. Probably more heavily armored than their battleships, in fact. Interesting. Deck armor of 10 inch? Good lord. I'm gonna HE slug this guy to death, otherwise he's not gonna go down. Is my pen chance like, what, a percent? Maybe two? 50? Range? 4-6. Yeah, I can pen about 42 inches of armor at this range. So arguably, that'll be enough. Oh, you cannot smoke, because you already used it. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Nope. Come on. 
Doink. Nothing. These guys and the torpedo launchers are getting very annoying. Switch the Enfernet. Because this light cruiser continues to spam torpedoes, especially at the Vettin. I don't like it. Where are your launchers? Port and starboard, two each. Damn it. I should be fine from this one. Smoke, smoke. Uh, Enfernet. Shoot. Yeah, we're fine. I really wonder what the build time is going to be on those new battleships. It's probably going to be a year and a half. Most likely more. It'll take a long time to get those things fielded. I might already be at peace with the French by then. But, who knows? Maybe the British are up for round two. I can get some more territory off of them. Please fuck off with the torps. This is really bad. Uh, this is also a problem with the Vettin class, if that is their class. They don't have any secondaries. Because these guys were designed as budget ships, and supposed to be more standoffish. They're not armed with any kind of secondary, so small ships are just going to take a long-ass time to deal with, especially if they're armed like a brick. Oof. Still have torpedoes. We can detonate the torpedoes aboard the ship. That'd be great. Ah, flooding on the bow. Perfect. Yeah, we'll just have to flood this guy out, I think. Standard bulkhead, spacious quarters. Okay. Very nice, very nice. There's still an angry smoke screen back there. Chance to pen what? 7% still? That's pretty good. For a 5.9 inch gun. Mark 3. Yeah, pretty good. Lost them. Shit. This is what I mean. They have the advantage. They can keep shooting me. I simply can't see them. They're too small. These puny ships of the French. Damage the main gun. Hmm. You do have hydroacoustic search. It's just not going to give me enough warning to dodge their torpedoes, perhaps. Hello. Oh, three and a half percent chance to hit. <laughs> yeah, and they're already gone again. Great. Okay, we're going to point our bow directly at the cruiser. We're going to try and find them. Fire coming in from here, that's the light, this is the heavy. The DD's probably about there. Hello. Only fire when you have a good chance to hit. E ah! So close. So close, you're out of torpedoes. Sucks to be you. You still have torpedoes, sucks to be me. Okay, there's one, there's two. Ah, fuck! You just launched the rest. Take. Okay. Ignore the Enfernet. Ignore the Carabinier. Deal with the Jules. Because these guys are out of torpedoes, the Jules is not. And in fact, she's about to launch again. Parcel only. I'm going to try and approach her bow so that she's unable to launch those torpedoes. If that will work, remains to be seen. You, come in here, go make yourself useful as a spotter. Nice hit. Destroyed main tower. Massive damage to the ship. Their accuracy is going to be pretty bad now. They're still apparently trying to launch the torpedoes. Not having that. Come on, blow up the torpedo launchers. Nah. Need bigger guns. Just much, much bigger guns. 16.9 sounds fine. I wonder when we're going to get the 20s in this campaign. Because that's what my eventual goal is going to be. 20.9 inch guns. 
the biggest I can field. Flooding. Perfect. Look at this. There's a smoke screen. Two and a half clicks out. I still can't see the DD. That's how stealthy these guys are. About 1.4, I could finally detect them. Okay, I suspect that this this, this heavy cruiser is going to be dead soon. Which means we have to start closing in. So that I can deal with the smaller ships. And the battle. Tempting. But no. A few one-shots later, and the entire French fleet has been destroyed. 1900 victory points for me. I'm seriously considering either decommissioning the Vettin class in a not too long a time frame, or overhauling it. The problem is, it's not an easy class to overhaul, because they're pretty much maxed out on capacity. Now I think we need to wait one month, one month, for the new battleship haul. Let's go. Let's see, we're dueling 19,000 victory points against the French 9100. There's a meeting. Ah, one on one, huh? I am not interested. I am not interested. Not the kind of battle I want. Well, advanced electro hydraulic turrets. Perfect. They have lost 10 transports in the Mediterranean. Yeah, they got. Oh, they got power projection there now. Just not nearly as much as I have. Sorry, no, I'm looking at tonnage. Um, they have. 4159, but the Italians, which is not one of their enemies? Really? I thought the French were in a war with everybody but Brits. Yes, they're fighting the Italians as well. The Italians are sinking all the French transports, as they have a power projection, which is more than 10, almost 12 times the French. Excellent. All right, time to build a new battleship. This is the modern battleship too. With our new shipyard, we can go to 67,050 tons. These things are going to be the pride of the fleet. They're going to cost me a pretty penny. And I absolutely don't mind. I am all for it. Oil, yes please. I am all for it. Oh, look at these beauties. Yes, please. Oh, yes. This is phenomenal. We're essentially <laughs> going to be building a Bismarck Light in 1922, 1923. What year is it? Oh, God. These guys are going to have not a chance. Not a chance. Reinforced bulkheads, double ball them, uh, enhanced loaders, auto rotation. TNT, tube, semi-piercing? No, not against the French, not against what the French are bringing. And give me 20% longer barrels and this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Yeah, maybe just stick to that. Here. Engine efficiency is 98.5. Could do worse. Give me some sonar. Give me more sonar. Uh, nope. Increased AP shells. Standard crew quarters. Better auxiliary engine. We still have 6,000, almost 7,000 tons left. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is going to be almost no contest. I hope that these things will fit. They do? They do. They're clipping the superstructure just barely. If the game says they fit, they fit. Now, here's my consideration. I said that in this campaign, I'm going to be using the biggest guns only. But if you have a ship like this, I think it would make sense to also put guns on the rest of the platforms, because I can. It would probably be, what, fivers? Fours? Fours. 
I mean, look at this. Yes, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make these 4.9 inch guns. This thing is gonna be the terror of the seas. Now to armor them up. Let's make it a 14 inch main belt. That's a superstructure looking. Uh, sorry, Citadel and superstructure. Citadel. I'm a bit aft heavy. Come forward a bit then. Yes, yes. I'll put you over. Oh, now you don't fit anymore. Hmm. That's sad. Sit. 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 This turret's unhappy. Sit. Sit. Oh, now it fits. Yes, perfect. Four weight of set, one eight. That's a lot better. All this tonnage. Give me three inches of superstructure armor. Give me a main deck of... Uh, that might be a bit heavy. Uh, six inches. Four deck and aft deck are not too important. Semi-auto loaders. That means these guys reload in 132 seconds. If this hits you with a high explosive, you're dead. Because it's two and a half thousand damage. But that's high capacity. That means incendiary. Not necessarily what I'm going for. I'm thinking this might be fine. Common pointed shells. Decent muzzle velocity, less fuse time. Uh, this is still going to cause 1600 damage, probably more. And I believe that with this I can pretty quickly blow away any smaller ships. Although, no, actually. I'm thinking of the French and their light cruisers have a ton of armor. Hmm. Soft capped versus. I'm looking at. Oh, sorry. No. I'm looking at the ricochet. What if I just go for AP standard? I don't want to have to, my shells ricochet all the time. It's fairly frustrating. Let's go with the standard ratio here, too. What am I going to do with all this tonnage? We're going to get everything, and we're going to go everywhere. Um, give me 32 knots. 31 knots. 30 knots. A bit too heavy. Reduce superstructure armor just a touch. There. The reason why I'm putting this thing on max is not because I expect to have to go 20,000 meters. It increases the probability of favorable naval battles, na uh, convoy raids, and I believe it also increases my power projection. All of those factors are things that I really want. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is not strictly a Bismarck, but it is fairly close. Fairly close. So let's do a wink at it and call it the Otto class. Otto von Bismarck. Steering. Wait, that's lighter? Huh. That's too heavy. Okay. Okay, okay. So this guy, 30 knots, 20,000 meter range. Sorry, yeah, 20,000 kilometer range. Oof. This is going to be a fantastic ship to play around with. I am looking forward to seeing these in action. They're going to take me a little over... 29 months. That's two and a half years. Well, better get to it, lads. We're going to have to get these guys out here ASAP. ASAP. I'll take four. No, that's a new design. Hold. I'll take four. So, when can I expect these to be delivered? In 29 months. That means that if I push hull construction, I might be able to push this down. So we're going to take the... Um, research priority off of hull strengthening and put it on that. Continue with turret mechanisms and continue with big guns. Small guns are coming up next. Three inch guns. Puny little pea shooters. I don't care about those. Destroyers and cruisers, fine. Are we going to get new special machinery? More turning rate and sh rudder shift speed. Okay. Now there's something else that I want to do and that is 
come up with another new design as sort of a replacement to the ship class that I just complained about, which I believe was the Hagen class? Baden class? No, the Badens are fine. No. The Kaisers. The Kaisers are old. The Kaisers are old. They're only 27,000 tons. They're not that expensive. Um, the newest Kaiser is going to cost me 55 million. If you look at the auto, it's going to be about three times that. What I'm going to have is a fairly small modern battleship. Let's say 42,000 tons is fine. That's capable of, for not too high a price, outputting a lot of firepower. That's the plan. I'm thinking ABX potentially. It's just that 16.9 triples are not going to be that accurate. Let's say 12,000 meters, 1.2, 1.4. Oh, it's not that bad. Let's see, if I just set what I normally set. Uh, give me a balanced. This, this, this. Citadel, anti-flood, reinforced. This, this. Rangefinder, acoustics. RDF. Ooh, that's heavy. Yeah. We might be able to make this work. Now make these barrels longer and make sure that they are 16.9ers. It gives me a few thousand tons and I can use that to put a couple of 8 inchers on. Like here and here. Why are you not turning? Here we go. How fast are you supposed to go? 29 knots. Make that 28. This, upgrade this, upgrade this, put better shells on, put better propellant on. Why are you complaining? Sit. There. The ship is a bit too heavy. Hmm. Let's go for oil, that helps. Steering a bit faster. Ooh, 565. That's not great. Unbalanced rudder, 419. Task of these ships uh, hunt down smaller ships, ideally. We also got this. Four long range accuracy. Oh, 12. That's a serious margin. Yeah, no, I'm going to stick to these towers. Advanced tower with funnel, it's just a lot more long-range accuracy. That's great. Okay, armor-wise, let's see if I can put two inches of superstructure. 16 inches of belt is a bit much. Uh, give me five, four, and aft. Give me eight main deck. Mm, three and a half, four and aft, I think. And when it comes to... Shell type standard, standard ratio that is, base, standard, 200 tons, mm. I'm not really sure where to put it, inner deck armor, no, not going to be terrible. Not going to be great. It should be enough. There. I don't have to fully max them out. This is fine. It's just that their bow is a bit heavy. Because this turret is very far forward. There we go. It's a pretty minimalistic design in terms of the amount of guns and firepower. When it comes to their price, they're actually a bit more expensive than I would hope. At 42,000 tons, coming in at 113 million. Versus 184 million, which is going to be vastly more effective. But they bring a lot more to the table than the old Kaiser class for 56 million. So, at about twice the price, I'll take it. 
it's good enough. Build time on these. Let's have a look. When can I expect these to enter service? 24 months. Two years exact. I'll take three. Now, I'm finally... <laughs> I was going to say, I'm finally digging into my budget. No, I'm still not. Because my monthly balance is still positive. Uh, any ships that still need to be refit? No. Good. Any cruisers that can be refit? Like the Turinja class? I believe they're using 15... No, 11.9... Tier 1? But I'm not exactly sure. Refit this. It's the Mark Three. Interesting. Um, I don't think there's that much that they can upgrade. semi or piercing shell seems to be working very well on these ships. Ah, no, there's not much that I want to change about them. Okay. Well, that'll have to be it then. Just wait another two years and see what comes up. In the meanwhile, how are the British doing? They're hating everybody equally. I'm surprised that with me taking a bunch of territory off of them, they're not actually that unhappy with me. They're not as happy with the French as they once were. I think the French are really pissed off with them because they broke their alliance. They just said, no, 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 Germany, please, peace. And I said, fine. Look at that, naval prestige, minus 53. Minus 57 for the French. 94 for me. Um, Italians, minus 63. Okay. Interesting. Whoa, the French GDP is atrocious. They've been at war for so long that their GDP is a third of mine. My naval budget is three times what I... Whoa. Okay. It's only going to be a matter of time until the French just implode. Excellent. Twelve battleships, three battlecruisers. The first ships that I have coming out are the new Baden class with their 16.9s. And after that, the French are entirely fucked. Once the Ottos and uh, the Pomerans start coming out, they're going to be entirely fucked. So, that'll be a while. Hope you guys enjoyed the new designs. Let me know what your thoughts are on those. And if I missed anything, please let me know so I can refit the ships when they come out in a, a few episodes. And, uh, well, join me for the next one. If you like these episodes, please hit the like button. And if you have a bit of spare cash, I can always use your support on Patreon. That would be much appreciated. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you soon for the next.